All right, Coach, you want to open us up? We'll take questions yeah. from in person and we'll go to Zoom. Sure. Um, you have to give Indiana credit. They played really well. They go on a 13 0 run to, to space us out. Um, I like the moments that we, you know, I thought we competed at times, but not enough in this tough environment to get a win. Um, we have to get do a better job of getting stops in the second half. Um, you know, we got a quick turnaround. We got to get ready for OSU. I thought we had some guys do some, some things fairly well for us. I thought Fats played hard. I thought a lot of other guys played hard too. But um, you know, for me, for Fats to play 37 minutes, shoot the ball 21 times, and not get one damn free throw when he's a top 10 free throw getter in the league is uh, mind boggling to me. But you know, that's not the reason we lost the game. I want to ask you about I mean, the, on, on a, on a, on a fast burst. I guess, what did you see from him? He seems to just be hitting so many different kind of crazy shots tonight. Um, in, in 20, he scored, I think, 105 points last few games. Just how did you see him kind of try to carry you guys and things like that? Well, obviously, he had the hottest hand for us tonight. And, um, you know, we tried to ride him a little bit. You know, five and nine from three. Um, you know, he, he, he tried to, you know, keep us, he gave us a chance to have some, some type of success on, in a tough environment. Um, like I said, that's just uh, mind boggling to me to, uh, he's a top 10 free throw shooter in this league, shoot 21 shots and not shoot one free throw. Did you see him was almost sort of just with, with that hot hand as a, as a spark plug, so to speak? Um, well, I thought Akeem played well early on, especially in the first half. You know, he's been really solid for us. Um, you know, Julian came in and, and scored the ball at, at a good clip. But, you know, it comes down to defense. You know, we, we weren't um, stout enough with our, our defensive intensity. And they got comfortable, especially in the second half, making shots. Um, you know, you're guarding Xavier Johnson. And, you know, I've known Xavier for quite some time. And, you know, going into the ball game, we knew he was going to be able to get downhill and attack. Um, and so for us to pick the poison was make him shoot threes. And he made them tonight. You know, and kudos to him. He, he knocked down three threes. Um, but, you know, that was all on me as far as game plan. You talk about making shots. They shot 75% in the second half, made 13 field goals in a row. What's your message to your team on defense when the team is shooting that well? Yeah, you got to do better. Yeah, it's, it's, it's no secret, right? <laughs> when they're making that many shots, you got to become um, a lot tougher, especially when you're playing on the road. In the, in, the, in the environment, with the energy of the crowd, you have to uh, you have to find a way to get stops, and we didn't do that. Well, you mentioned Xavier, and then obviously Trace, and they were kind of keep open at the bombs in the first half. Um, were you guys kind of feeling good going into that, knowing that you are in the bombs in the What line did you guys just couldn't get over the line? Um, like I said, they made shots. Whenever you shoot seventy five percent in half, hard to win anywhere, right? And um, that's, that's what happened. They shot the ball at a very high clip. And you reel off 13 shots like, you know, this young lady just mentioned. It's, you know, that's hard to overcome. All right, Keith, we'll take questions from the Zoom. Bruce Posner. Yeah, Coach, I, I know you've talked about it, but the growth of Fats Russell this year, I mean, he was – look, I know you lost, but he was unbelievable tonight, Coach. What have you seen as the year has gone by with Fats? Well, I think his comfort level is pretty good right now in regards to understanding what Big Ten play is about, the length and athleticism of the bigs that are at the rim and in the paint, picking and choosing when to go make something happen um, and when to facilitate and get the teammates involved. And tonight, you know, um, he he had it going and Akeem had it going for the most part, and we tried to ride those guys a little bit to uh, get us – to a point of striking distance. And, um, you know, he, he did some good things scoring the basketball for us. Ryan McFadden. Uh, hey, Coach. I just want to take it outside of the game real quick. I just want to wonder if you would like to give a statement in regards to Pavlo. Pavlo, I know he's dealing with a lot right now with what's going on in Ukraine and his family. I was wondering if you'd like to um, provide a statement in regards to that. Sure. I mean, you know, Pavlo is – He's our brother. We love him. We care for him. We're going to support him. Um, family's in a tough situation like so many other people over in the Ukraine. And, um, you know, all we can do is send our love, prayers, and thoughts to his family and, and all the other people that are over there in a, in a tough environment. All right. Thanks, Coach. Yep.